recently I've been rethinking my mission field. Uh, I come to the, the QT here uh, several times a week to get gas or to get something to drink or a candy bar or whatever. And I saw a young man, he was, uh, he had just picked up a sandwich and taken it to the cash register to pay for it. And he had the app on his telephone where you can tap it to the guard, card reader and it will uh, pay for it. Well, he, he had tapped it three or four times and it never would work. And apparently he didn't have any money with him. So he took the sandwich back and put it on the rack and started out the door. Uh, as he started out the door, I asked him, you know, what's wrong? He said, well, my, my telephone app's not working and I don't have any money with me. He said, I'm gonna have to go home and get some money and come back and get my sandwich. He said, I just worked all day and I'm tired. So I said, well, let's go get your sandwich. I'll pay for it. And he really didn't want me to do that, but uh, I insisted. So we went back and picked up the sandwich and uh, went to the cash register and paid for it. As we started out the door, he, he spoke to me and kind of wanted to know why I did things like that. And I, I told him, well, this is something we do at my church. It's called buying someone a Coke. I gave him my testimony there in front of the QT. And we talked about that for a minute or two. And I said, you know, all these blessings that I've had that I've told you about, I said, you can have something like that too. And all you have to do is do a short prayer. So you don't have to be in church. Uh, you don't have to have a preacher to do it. So you can do it right here, right now. I said, would you like to do that? He said, well, yes, I would. So I placed my hand on his shoulder and we went through the sinner's prayer and he accepted the Lord. I intend to continue doing this and I encourage everyone else to do this. Remember, just one more, just one more is all it takes. And if everyone in our church does that, how many people could be led to the Lord right here in Spartanburg?